Well, CO2 Australia started here in New South Wales in 2004 and it was under the business developed under the opportunities associated with the New South Wales Greenhouse Gas Abatement Scheme. For the CSU project, this was one of the first properties that was planted, so this was planted in 2006 and all of the CSU project plantings were planted that year. So we're standing here on a site called Presses, a property called Presses near West Wyalong. Uh, we planted this site around eight years ago now with a mix of Mali eucalypts as part of a carbon project. So this is actually one of the earliest uh, sites planted as a carbon project in Australia. Um, since that time we've uh, transitioned this particular project into the Australian Emissions Reduction Fund. Um, so we've turned this into a carbon credit producing project and we've used some of those carbon credits to uh, help Charles Sturt University with their offsetting program. CO2 Australia, we've been very extremely pleased to uh, be engaged by Charles Sturt University to help them with their offsetting requirements and um, yeah, certainly we really uh, commend and applaud the leadership position that Charles Sturt is showing in being the first carbon neutral university in Australia. It really is a tremendous effort. So uh, yeah, it's fantastic for CSU to be recognised as the first certified carbon neutral university. I think what's fantastic about a project like this is it's, um, it's accessible, it's tangible and it's, it's really uh, an opportunity for our, our staff and students to come out and see firsthand about um, how this particular project is working towards uh, reducing global carbon emissions um, and, and CSU directly so showing leadership here uh, by, by putting our own investment in here and supporting these um, large swathes of um, native trees and uh, reforestation of these paddocks. So as part of this field trip to come out and see some of the offset projects that CSU is supporting, we've um, been really lucky and successful in attracting groups of uh, students and, and staff from different areas of the organisation, both uh, teaching and, and general staff. So it's great that we've been able to generate that interest and these people will be able to go back and tell their story firsthand about some of the projects that they've seen that are associated with us as a carbon neutral organisation. Um, but yeah, certainly what stands out to me in the relationship with Charles Sturt University is their commitment to using really high quality carbon credits, verified carbon credits uh, and wanting to really get hands on uh, with the projects that they're actually uh, purchasing these carbon credits from. So covering a range of different activities including uh, wind energy and, uh, and here in sunny New South Wales uh, reforestation projects that are actually returning trees to denuded landscapes. And yeah, a, a key feature with the Charles Sturt University offset portfolio has been about trying to deliver not just the climate change and emissions reduction benefit, but also delivering multiple social and environmental benefits as well. So here where we are in New South Wales, uh, putting trees back into cleared landscapes has any number of benefits for uh, biodiversity, uh, limiting land erosion, particularly wind erosion, uh, mitigating solidity risks and creating valuable habitat for uh, animal species. Look, I think being the first uh, university in Australia has been fantastic in terms of us setting the agenda for others to follow and showing a, a lot of leadership in, in terms of, you know, it, it's going to be great for everybody in terms of everybody works towards that longer term goal of uh, reducing our carbon footprint across the country. We go out and we take sample points from within this forest. We can't measure every tree, that would be uneconomical. Um, but we use sample, a sample based approach to go out and take, um, rant, set up randomly located plots, measure the trees within those plots to generate our carbon estimates and we then scale those estimates up to the whole of uh, the other stratum. So we sometimes stratify things to separate out, you know, it might be one species or one landscape to reduce the statistical uncertainty. So we scale up to either the stratum level or then the whole level. I've really enjoyed it. It's nice to come and see. It's one thing to hear about it on a map or in a program or in a media release, but to actually be here and actually see it, actually um, come and enjoy it and do some of the plot sampling and know that the data I've helped collect will actually go to contribute towards CSU's data count. So it's fantastic.
So it's been fantastic learning about uh, how carbon measurements are actually taken and the calculations that are used to turn a um, measurement of tree um, diameter um, into the amount of um, CO2 that's um, captured in that tree. The, the, today's been fantastic and I think it just sort of underlies how complex an issue of uh, reducing carbon is and, and understanding how it's produced and how you measure it and, and the detail that you need to go in just to so, so you know there is no second thoughts about whether you, whether you have or haven't uh, reduced your carbon and, and been able to measure it in terms of significant uh, products like some of the stuff we're seeing here today in terms of large scale sequestration through trees. Near West Wyalong in New South Wales. Like, sorry, guys, these blinds. Let's go. <laughs> a few of those. That one just about went up my nose. Apologies for that.